Have you ever shared your wonderful moment on the social media? This is how I share a photo on Instagram. I choose a photo of a brunch that I had with my friends. Instagram has provided plenty of filters for users. For this photo, I want to make it brighter, so I choose the filter named Lark, which makes the atmosphere warmer and the food look more delicious. Then I usually write a caption, and this cute emoji perfectly expresses my feeling. Finally, I add a location and share the post. Since not everyone can capture the moment in an ideal way like a professional photographer, applying super filters to pictures helps people express their feelings. So in this project, I designed four filters for image processing. Nowadays, the majority of smartphones have several basic built-in filters. Here, I also list some of the most popular apps, including Instagram, Photoshop, Visco, and PixArt, where you can apply advanced filters to your photos. This is a picture that I took last week at UVA. I chose five filters from different apps and applied them to the original picture, respectively. As you can see, Vivid Filter makes the picture brighter, while Rias Filter fades all the colors. The last one even makes the original picture sketch-like. I've designed four filters in this project. In the example image, the cat is having a nap. The first filter is called Old Film. The input image is converted into a NumPy array. A weight array is created after several trials, and each value is between 0 and 1. Then calculate the dot product of the image array and the weight array. The output image looks like a frame from an old movie. The second filter is called fleeting, meaning that the moment in this photo is short but precious. We can achieve this by calculating the square root of values in blue channel, multiplying them with a weight parameter 12, and keeping all the values in red and green channels unchanged. The third filter is called Sketch, and it creates edges of objects without a lot of details. Firstly, a Gaussian blur performs as a high-pass filter to denoise the input image. Then, a candy edge detector is applied. The last step is to set a threshold for binarization. The last filter is called Central Light, which means that a beam of light is created at the image center. The light intensity decreases as the distance to the central pixel increases. Therefore, all the distance values are multiplied with a weight parameter and the product results are added to the original values at each channel. Now, let's see how these four filters work in real situation. First, let's run this code. I designed this user interface by using Qt Designer. Firstly, Press this button to choose an input image. Here, I choose a picture of Iron Man, and it is displayed in the left window. Then, if I press the Sketch button, the sketch of Iron Man is displayed in the right window. If I press the Fleeting button, the output of the fleeting filter is shown here. If I press the Old Film button, we can see the corresponding output in this window. By the way, Although Iron Man was the first film in the Marvel Cinematic Universe, it cannot be considered as old because it was first released in 2008. Finally, if I press the central light button, we can see that there is a beam of light spreading out from the center of the image. Then, let's see another example. This is a picture of the cast of a classic TV series, Friends. Press the four buttons, respectively, and the corresponding output images will be displayed in the right window. So that's how the four filters and the user interface work. Thanks for watching.